What's up guys, if you haven't followed with the last video I made about installing car mods, I'm going to make this very extremely simple. All you need to do is download the Enhanced Native Trainer. Once you've got that downloaded, the sky's the limit guys. It's really easy. You take these two folders, you take these two files. So what we need to do, we're going to, we're going, we're going to navigate to our C drive. Program files, Epic Games, GTA 5. Okay, once you've uh, finally downloaded the trainer, it's so simple. You take ENT config and this enhanced trainer.asi and you just drag and drop it into your root directory, dude. It's so easy. Same thing with the uh, with the tra with the uh, script hook file that I gave you. You're gonna drop the DLLs into this folder. So you're gonna drop switch hook DLL, and um, there's another file um, in here. Ah, oh, fuck. So it's pretty simple, guys. You're gonna drop the two files from the switch hook V and the two files from uh, the enhanced trainer right in here that is it that's all you have to do for those two now to get uh, the OIV mods installed that's just as easy if not the easiest thing on the planet so I'm gonna go to search I'll just type in OIV alright we're gonna install this Lamborghini Centenario Lamborghini Centenario LP77-4 so we'll click download Okay, we're gonna uh, sure we're gonna download that. Open her up. Now, some people couldn't understand what I meant by, uh, you know, um, uh, how to create a folder out of a zip archive, and I'm gonna show you that it's disgustingly easy. I feel disgusting having to show you this because, uh, you know, it's so easy. So we'll save this to a folder on our computer. We'll open up that location for the folder. Right click on the zip archive. Down here it says extract to whatever the name of the file is and it creates a folder. That's all you gotta do. Or let's say you don't wanna do that. You can just click new folder. You can call it ass and titties, okay? And then you can open up your mod in the zip you can open up the zip of the mod okay and uh, you can literally just drag this and drop it into ass and titties and that's all you have to do the next step will open up uh, open IV or open for whatever you people would like to call it doesn't matter we're gonna open this application up click Windows I shouldn't have to tell you how to install this. It's extremely easy. Another disgustingly easy uh, part of this tutorial. All right, we're going to skip ahead to when this finally loads. All right, now open uh, for is it's open. <clears throat> so what we need to do is uh, we're going to click on tools. You're going to need to install the ASI manager. Very simple. You just click install here. It's going to ask you to create a mod folder which it will and the next thing you're gonna do is go to pack installer okay we're going to locate our ass and titties click that open her up she's gonna unbox click a, a mods folder click install all right it's installing all right the next thing we have to do is we're going to click on mods, update, update RPF, and then click edit mode up here. Hit yes. Okay. Now we'll go to common data. Look for the XML uh, DLC list. Hit right click, click edit, scroll down, and then we'll reopen our our mod read the go to the readme text uh the installation text 
and it will tell us what line of code we need to add so that the game can recognize it. All right, we're going to copy this. Very simple. Okay. And we're just going to paste it down here like that. R mod LP 770. Hey, what do you know? We didn't even have to do that. It's already there. All right. RP mod LP 770. That's all it takes, guys. That's all it takes. And we've got a new car now. So let's just remember uh, RP mod LP 770. That's all we need to know. LP 770. We're going to launch the game now. All right. Epic Games Launcher. <laughs> launch the game. All right, game's loading up. We installed script hook. We installed enhanced native trainer. Uh, okay, we've uh, enhanced our lives because we installed a mod. Super easy. Lemon squeezy. Okay, we're going to go on into story mode and wait another eternity for this thing to load. You don't want to become a gun runner, dude. All right, guys, look in the bottom left. ENT is initializing. That's a good sign. Let's walk out this front door. I'll holler at the world. Say hi, Mr. Policeman. He's not driving through today. Okay, so I'm going to push F4. Whoa. And I'm going to push two on the number key. Go down down to vehiculars. And then uh, vehicle spawner. And then enter main name manually. And we're going. It's a RP mod LP 770. Smack it. Oh. <laughs> that is fire fresh, dude. Hop up in that web, dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is so nice, dude. I mean, the sound is. Could be better for the engine. The sound could be a lot cooler for the engine. Whoa, dude, my Lamborghini Gallardo. This is a, this isn't a Gallardo, my bad. Okay, well, guys, that's how you get a car installed with OI, open, uh, open 4 and an OIV file format. It's super ridiculously easy. You don't need 5M to do it. And this video is probably the, the stupidest easy thing on the planet. I hope you guys have fun. Enjoy. Watch my videos and subscribe. Share it with your friends. Comment. Leave likes and dislikes. Don't matter, dude. Peace, love, and chicken grease, man. It's very high. I'm out. Make sure the fuck don't.